Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing ADMATH. ADMATH for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did question number one all parts from part number A to part number I. In that question you can see also on screen question number one sketch the graphs of each of the following functions from 0 to 360 degrees and state the range of each functions. So students we have done the whole question question number one and I hope you completely understand this question. Today we are going to do question number two of this exercise but before I start question number two I would suggest all those students who are watching my lectures first time kindly first go to my playlist there is a folder name is admeth watch all previous lectures after watching all previous lectures from exercise 9.1 2 3 4 and then question number 1 you will have good command on this topic so let's start question number 1 sorry question number 2 what is question number 2 part a is case the graph of 2 si y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 for the domain from 0 to 180 degree. So very easy part taking y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 and because the domain is given from 0 to 180 degree so we have to restrict from 0 to 180 degree. Taking values for the suitable interval like I am taking 30 30 degrees interval so 0 degree 30 60 90 120 150 and 180 so when you put 0 in your scientific calculator 2 sin 0 minus 1 you will get minus 1 for 30 you will get 0 for 60 you will get 0 0.71 for 90 you will get 1 for 120 you will get 0 0.7 for 150 you will get 0 and for 180 degrees you will get minus 1 ok students now sketch these points I did some work for you I drawn x and y axis for 0 degrees the value is minus 1 so this is the first point for 30 degrees the value is, is 0 this is the second point for 60 degrees the value is 0 0.7 so it should be 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 and 3 1 2 2.5 and 2.5 is 0 0.5 0 0.6 this is 0 0.7 for 90 degrees the value is 1 for 120 degree the value is 0 0.7 for 150 degree the value is 0 and for 180 degree the value is minus 1 join all these points Here we go. This is the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1. This is part A. What is part B? Is case the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 modulus. So this time we have to draw the graph of 
y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 absolute value. So, nothing will change except those points which are below the x axis. So, for 0 minus 1 it should be 0 1 this point and all points are remaining same for 180 minus 1 this should be 180 1 2 3 4 5 1. So, all points except minus 1 for 0 and minus 1 for 180 all points are same this point is same this point is same this point is same this point is same and this point is same now join these points join this join this and join this now how many points which are intersecting okay so this is the graph of the red one is y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 absolute value what is part c part c is see carefully write down the number of solutions of the equations 2 sin x minus 1 is equals to 0 0.5 actually there is no indication that we have to draw uh, both the graph in a same uh, same page so I am drawing again both the graphs in separately ok so I am rubbing this rubbing this rubbing this So, do not worry again the question is very easy the same question, but I do not by mistake in both the graphs in a simple page in a same page sorry. So, for 0 is 1. this is 30 for 30 is 0 for 60 is 1 2 3 this is 0 0.7 for 90 1 for 120 0 0.7 for 150 0 and for 180 minus 1 now join all the points not a very good curve 1 2 3 I am drawing it again so this is the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 now we have to draw the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 absolute value the same graph except one point draw x and y axis again
so taking same values this is x this is y this is 0 1 2 3 4 30 1 2 3 4 61 2 3 4 91 2 3 4 120 1 2 3 4 151 2 3 4 180 1 2 3 4 5 1 1 2 3 4 5 so this is your choice you can take any scale no issue so first point is when x is 0 now I am going to draw the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 absolute value now no need to make the table because table is already drawn already written when x is 0 then y is minus 1 but this time when x is 0 then y is 1 because we are uh, doing work with absolute valued function so all values which are below x axis must be reflected for 30 for 30 the value is same 0 for 60 the value is same 0 0.7 for 90 the value is 1 for 120 the value is 0 0.7 for 150 the value is 0 and for 180 the value is minus 1 but this time is 1 so kindly keep in mind join these points this is the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 what is part C write down the number of solutions of the equation 2 sin x minus 1 is equals to 0 0.5 so for part, part C y is given 0 0.5 is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 so because this is y we have to draw a line passes through 0 0.5 1 2 this is 0 0.5 draw the line and check how many points our graph is meeting both the curve both uh, straight line and curve 1 2 3 4 so how many number of solutions four solutions
so student this is our today's work i want to repeat the whole question again the first part is to sketch the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 this is the graph the second graph is sketch the graph of y is equals to 2 sin x minus 1 absolute value this is the graph and the last is write down the number of solutions of the equation 2 sin x minus 1 absolute value is equals to 0.5 so we have to draw a line just like you can see the green uh, the blue one this is the line this one 0.5 5 y is equals to 0.5 so this line cuts at four points for this curve so these points are the solutions of this equation that's it this is our today's class i hope you completely understand this question what next question number 3 we will I will try to finish this exercise as soon as possible. So students if you like today's videos today's video and if you are satisfying my lectures kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can Okay students good luck for next lecture